Spoilers and offensive content to come. We are the best anime review show on the internet. We are Carlos and Dave Anime Rave. This is the Friday 4 fuckery. This is uh, Friday, October 7th. We are watching four episode ones. We've seen two already. The surprisingly good Yuri on Ice and the surprisingly good Keijo. And that last one I still can't believe happened. And now we're on to two that I wanted to see, that I pushed for. So you better not disappoint me, my own brain. Uh, this one is one I saw called Flip Flappers. It has magical girl elements, and what caught my attention reading the description on Anachart was A, how all of Anachart's descriptions are terrible. Shout out to Anachart, great site. And B, that there seemed to be some Yuri potential, so I immediately flocked to this show and put it on our suggestion list for the Carlos and Dave anime. Look, motherfucker, this is. I'm sorry that this is not someone trapped in an MMO. Or whatever the fuck you would have oh, put on the two fucking of those coming up. Why do we have any of them coming up? <laughs> because I hate you. Fuck. <laughs> Apparently that has consequences. Here we go. Meanwhile, so, on the river Styx. <laughs> exactly. So at the end of my day on the way home, I decided to cross the river Styx just up for a joyride. I paid the ferryman, robbed him, left him for dead. Gave him a coin so he could pay his own ferry into the land of the dead. Stole his boat, and now I'm here. Oh, it sounds like you're doubly fucked. I gave him a coin. Yes, honey, you're going insane. Just bear with it and get ready. Okay, <laughs> is she being haunted? Are you saying is Papika a ghost haunting Kokona? Or is Papika a stalker? Because I'm pretty sure she's quite alive and not a ghost. This is anime that doesn't make a difference. You're right. There are ghost types everywhere. And as long as you're carrying uh, something they're not immune to, like a normal or fighting attack, you should be fine. What? The secret garden? Like The entrance to the Lost Woods? <laughs> she going to find the Master Sword in there? But uh, joke's on her. She has not yet collected the pendants of power, wisdom, and courage. How do you know that? You're right, I don't. She could have scaled uh, the Tower of Hera, defeated the Desert Palace, conquered the Eastern Palace, and spoken to Sahasrala. Did Papika just sniff her hair? Gross. I thought it was kind of cute. Gross. You know what? Why don't you just get fucked? Wait, was that in question? Could she have died getting there? And then it's like, oh, well, that wasn't a good partner candidate. Uh, don't worry, she had well over a 35% chance of surviving. <laughs> this isn't like Deku being handed down the power because he, he was found deserving. This is just like, oh, she survived the trip, let's do this. あれ Why the fuck did they put that scene after the credits? That was like the big plot to Robot Armies! <laughs> 
after the credits? What if we stopped? What if we stopped? We'd have nothing. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> Hell of a hook at the last second. I appreciate that Kokona's Yuri powers were able to make her turn into a Super Saiyan and save uh, Precious Papika. Uh, who, uh, uh, these two are very clearly, they're meant to be, Dave, and you're not going to ruin this one either. Carlos? Yeah, but what the hell was that scene after the credits, man? Oh, you're... They were obviously showing that they were just friends. I like this show. I but I, I don't, don't know... know enough about <laughs> it to say so. Yeah, I don't entirely understand what happened, but uh, I'm sure it has something to do with Mr. Salt needing some fragment of imagination he lost or some shit, if I was just a hazard a guess. All I know is it for a while there, it looks like they jumped into a Miyazaki world. <laughs> a little bit. There's a little Miyazaki going on. But not the bad kind of Miyazaki. However, I won't be surprised if we see a giant Miyazaki baby, which tends to be a staple in some Miyazaki uh, books, and someone who looks exactly like Eggman. As we've seen in far more than one Miyazaki thing. I want to see more. I just don't know what the fuck just happened. Folks, if you can tell us what the fuck just happened, please go to carlosandaveanimerave.com and let us know in the comments. We are the best anime review show on the internet. Dave, what other shows have we watched, have we reviewed, that have left us uh, wondering what just happened? <laughs> First episode of Yuki Yuna. Yeah, that was that was definitely one of them. Uh, even to a certain extent, kill a kill. Sure. Sure. Gravity Falls, even if you think about it. Yeah. In a way, this could have kind of a Gravity Falls ish vibe, just the, a little bit. Uh, honestly, I think it was the halfway point of Yuki Yuna that did, did it to us. Gravity Falls episode one, you know, still had an end where we actually understood kind of what was we were, we were gonna expect. This, we don't really have a fucking clue. Well, I mean, it's not like it came out of nowhere. Except for the part where it came out of nowhere. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anywho, folks, tune in next time where we finish the Friday 4 fuckery with the last show on the docket, the witch one that whose name I don't remember off by heart.